trust. The way I look at trust is, is the way um, that we figure out what to expect from another person. If we know what we are expecting from another person, what they'll do and what they don't do, then we'll have trust in that person. If that, tr if that person is um, unstable, doesn't do what um, they say, that person is, um, you, you just never know, kind of like a wild card, then it's hard to trust that person. So if a person is um, reliable, does what, you know, they live up to expectations as far as what they present, then they're trustworthy. And trust is the basis of all relationships, whether it's family, business, friendships, as well as romantic relationships. Trust is a big part of it. And to, to maintain good relationships, you will always find that the trust is strong. So my question to you is, what is your code in your relationships? Do you have a code that you live by that allows the relationships that you have to trust you so that you have a good relationship, one that is strong, and then one that lasts? For example, men and women, when it comes to friendships, usually have a code. Call it the girl code, call it the guy code, usually have a code. And in this code, there are certain rules and boundaries that you, you know, you respect and you uphold just because of that is the, um, the relationship you all have that you agreed upon. It's not anything like a legal document or anything. It's just a set of rules that you live by with each other to, you know, have that trust between each other. One of the things that's often seen in the girl and guy code is how you deal with ex-boyfriends or anybody who was previous to, um, to that person in a relationship. So for a guy, say they're dating, um, they're dating someone currently. So the guy code would say that any of this guy's friends will be trustworthy enough that this guy can bring his woman around his fellas and not have to worry about any of them hitting on her, coming on to her, or anything like that. Even when a guy breaks up with the girl, if that happens, this guy doesn't have to worry about any of his friends going after her or anything like that because that's part of the code. And so do you have a code? I think a code is good to have because what you want to do for lasting relationships, which is a key that you, you always hear me talking about lasting relationships, is that you have that trust there. And if someone is able to trust you, then that relationship will likely have another element that allows it to last. So what's your code? What's your guy code? What's your girl code? What's your family code? What's your business code? And what is your general code that you live by? Share if you want, but think about it and come up with a code so that your relationships can last.